Hi everyone, I wanted to pop in today to show you this little Christmas mini album that I've created. I've used one of the new products coming out in our November, December 2020 catalogue, which is this one here. So many good things in here. But for this project, I have used the Jingle Joy collection, which you can see here. So much fun. Basically what I've used for the pattern paper is the Jingle Joy collection. Love all these patterned pieces, the trees, the baubles. The stripe paper I haven't actually used in this project because I've got a project in mind for this gorgeous little black and white dot. I've primarily used the Christmas tree and the bauble paper. And the other side of the Christmas tree paper is this gorgeous little black and white heart. So I've used those and the sticker sheets. For this album, there's only two stickers that I haven't used, the Holiday Happenings and the Dear Santa. They were just a little bit too large to put on a six inch high project, but I'll be able to use those on other pages. And I've also used the Jingle Joy die cuts. I love the black and white graphic style of these and it goes so well with the papers. You'll find on the zip strips that it suggests what cardstock you can use or you can actually get a coordinating cardstock but I've substituted the raspberry and the flamingo and I've used candy apple instead uh, mainly the light side of candy apple because I found that that has coordinated quite well with this tone there is a bit of red in it and I just wanted to change it up from the pinks that were suggested in that so we'll have a little flip through and you can see what I've designed I've used the art booking cartridge as I wanted to make a circle album. I've designed some of these pieces myself and manipulated them. The art booking cartridge does have a couple of Christmas themed mini albums that you can make where everything is done for you, but they're in a rectangle shape and I really wanted to make a fun little circle album. So you can see with the tags, I put the twine in and then I've used my piercing tool to fray it out a little bit. So we'll have a little flip through You can see the die cuts that I've used and flip flaps for interactive pieces. Journaling can go here or another photo can go there. That piece is actually a zip strip and this is a sticker and I've popped it up with some foam tape, but this heart paper is actually the back side of this fun tree paper. I think that's my favorite paper in this pack. Overlays, I have used the designs in art booking, but I have manipulated them so that they fit within a circle element for this project. Shaker elements, so when you shake that around, they do move around. And what's underneath here is one of the die cuts. So that makes a really nice little scene underneath this circle one. The black bauble paper is rather gorgeous as well. And I love this reindeer. And this is an overlay that I created for the Comfort and Joy scrapbooking pages. I've done a video on that one as well. And I've manipulated that so it fits within this circle element. So it becomes a feature all on its own. You could tuck a little photo on there if you wanted to. Another shaker element, the stars, which was just released in our annual catalogue. So you can see that they shake around and I've put the Ho 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 sticker from the Jolly Jingle pack underneath that. Some cute little stockings, lots of places for photos or journaling. Another overlay that I've manipulated. The tags just, I think, look so cute on this sort of type of album. So much fun. Two more flip flap elements. And the stickers fit in really, really well. Just done a little string of trees, sorry, a little string of stars with the tree stickers. And you'll notice with the stickers, they're not quite all stuck down because I haven't placed the photos in here as yet, or this might actually be for a gift. I have someone in mind that I might give this to that doesn't actually scrapbook. So what I've done is I've left that part of the sticker behind there. So that's easy 
you know, the, sh the carrier sheet that they're on. So that's easy to peel away once the photo has gone in place. So you can see I've done that here as well. I can just take that out and uh, the photo, once the photos are in. I know that this is just white on white, but I love the simplicity of this. You could dress it up and put another circle of pattern paper. There's enough left over to do that. And this is the back page with a little to and from. And this section here is actually one of the die cut pieces, but then once that's been pressed out, there was this pattern left over. So I've just fussy cut around that so that I can use it. So and there you have it. You can see that I've used two main papers from this collection. A little Christmas mini circle album using the brand new Jingle Joy collection. And I will have to retie that little bow back on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.